Akshay brought four boxes of chocolate truffles to a party. Each box contains six truffles. Every guest at the party ate exactly three truffles, and there were none left over. How many guests must there have been at the party, must have attended the party? So we're trying to figure out how many guests, how many guests must have attended the party. So we, let's, actually, let's actually define a letter to represent that. So let's say that P, or let's say G, G for guests. Let's say that G is equal to the number of guests at the party. Then we could actually set up a relation between the number of guests, the number of truffles each guest ate, and then the total number of chocolates. So what was the total number of chocolates that we have at this party? Well, he bought four boxes, and each box contains six truffles. So the total number of chocolates at the party must have been four times six. Four times six truffles must have been the total number of truffles at the party. So let me write this down. This is the number of truffles total. Number of truffles total. Now what's another way of thinking about the total number of truffles at the party? Well, you have G guests. So you have G guests. And each guest ate three truffles. Each guest ate three truffles. So G times three is also going to be the number of truffles at the party. Number of truffles total. Number of truffles total. So these two things need to be equal to each other. So we could figure out what four times six is. And then we should say, well, four times six is going to be some number. And G times three has to equal that same number. What must G be? So let's think about that step by step. So let's just visualize four times six. So here is one box of truffles. We get six truffles. So it's one times six, two times six, three times six, and four times six. Or another way of thinking about four times six, that's the same thing as six plus six plus six plus six, which is six, 12, 18, 24. So what we have here on the left-hand side is 24. So we get 24. And now we know that this is going to be equal to the number of guests at the party. This is going to be equal to the number of guests at the party times 3, times 3. So what times 3 is equal to 24? Another way of viewing this, another way of viewing this is if g times 3 is equal to 24, that means that 24 24 divided by 3 divided by 3 must be equal to g must be equal to g so one way of thinking about it if i were to divide these truffles these 24 truffles into groups of 3 3 for each guess well the number of groups i'm going to have will tell me the number of guests i have so let's do that so let's divide it into groups of 3 so let's see, here is one group of three, right over here, one group of three. And now I have another group of three, so two groups of three. Now I have three groups of three, three groups of three. Here's four groups of three. Here is five groups of three, six groups of three, seven groups of three, and eight groups of three. So if I were to take 24 things and divide it into groups of three, I get eight groups. So we see, we see that G, let me get my pen tool, we see that G, or I could say 24 divided by three is eight, which must be equal to the number of guests at the party. The other way of thinking about it is I'm like, hey, some mystery number here, G, that I'm trying to figure out, the number of guests at the party times three is equal to 24. So what times three is 24? Well, you could just think about all the multiples of three. Three times one is three, three times two is six, three times three is nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. That's three times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three times eight is 24. So G must be equal to eight, or eight must be equal to G, or we had exactly eight guests at our party.